Nick Trenton. Stop overthinking. 23 techniques to relieve stress, stop negative spirals, declutter your mind, and focus on the present. We're all familiar with the concept of overthinking, but it's often misunderstood. Overthinking isn't about thinking too much. It's about being stuck in a loop of thoughts that don't lead to any real answers. It's a difficult habit to break, but with the right strategies and techniques, you can take control of your thoughts and move forward with clarity and purpose. Whether you're struggling with overthinking or simply want to learn more about it, this blink to Nick Trenton's Stop Overthinking will explain what happens in your head when you do it and set you on a path to understanding and managing your stress. Before we begin, we publish new content every week, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about the latest extracts. Our videos can be a bit longer sometimes because we never compromise on the content of the book and video. Therefore, it's important to watch the video till the end. Let's get started. With practice, we can get better at managing our thoughts. Overthinking is like getting lost in a maze. No matter how hard we analyze, evaluate, and worry, we can get stuck in seemingly never-ending loops of anxious thoughts and dead ends. Some of us are predisposed to endless dissection. Sometimes our environment is to blame. However, the reality is that we react to perceived stress rather than actual stress. Most overthinkers experience the physical and mental consequences of excessive analysis such as fatigue, anxiety, and difficulty sleeping, and understand how serious they can be. In the worst cases, it can destroy lives and relationships. But whether it's the fault of nature or nurture, we can learn to manage our thought processes with the proper techniques. Recognizing overthinking for what it is can be extremely difficult, but it is crucial to regaining control of our mental health. To understand our triggers, we have to look at how our thoughts, relationships, and emotions interact. That means being mindful of our experiences and asking ourselves questions to better understand our expectations and feelings. Then, with practice, we can learn to trust ourselves more and break the habit of overthinking. It's a fact of life that we all experience stress in some form or another, but worrying and overthinking are not inevitable. Before engaging with our anxious thoughts, we can take a moment, challenge them with clarity and empathy, and create a positive space around them. You'll find out how to do that in the following sections. Use the four A's to influence and improve your worldview. To help overcome your overthinking, there are four A's that you can use. Avoid, alter, accept, and adapt. When life throws you a curveball, it can sometimes be overwhelming. There is power in walking away from stressful situations and avoiding them altogether. By recognizing your triggers and knowing when it's time to take a step back, you're taking control of your well-being. For example, if an acquaintance of yours makes you anxious, try limiting contact with them or finding ways to manage interactions more effectively. Similarly, if loud noises are a trigger, you can try to find quieter spaces. Setting boundaries and recognizing when to walk away ensures your needs are honored and respected. So remind yourself that it is okay to avoid a problematic situation and that saying no is justified. Without adequate coping mechanisms, stress can quickly escalate. But there are things you can do to affect the outcome. For instance, if someone is causing you distress, don't ignore the source. Instead, use your voice to try and improve things. Speak up, talk it out, and do whatever you need to do to keep yourself happy and healthy. Remember, you often have the power to alter your environment. Having said that, you can't always control the outside world. And actually, that shouldn't be a priority. Instead, Work on accepting what you can't change. That way, you can appreciate and savor the moment without feeling constrained or inhibited. By accepting what's happening, you can move past helplessness and start thinking creatively about how to change your internal reactions. But what's the best way to go about it? 
It all starts with understanding the power of positivity. Your outlook and beliefs are influenced by how you perceive the world around you. Being optimistic rather than pessimistic allows you to actively resist fears and better deal with them in the long run. This doesn't mean ignoring or avoiding painful truths. It means approaching them mindfully. Adapting takes effort and a conscious decision to seek out moments of hope, but it will undoubtedly make you a stronger person in the end. A smart checklist can set you up for success. For many of us, stress is part of everyday life. It can feel like we have no choice but to endure this pressure cooker existence. Try meditation, gurus cry, but how can we find the time when our days are already packed with events and obligations? The solution is simple. Time management. Believe it or not, you can achieve near-peak productivity with just a few simple changes to your routine. First, start by writing down your goals and tasks for the day. Seeing what's ahead helps solidify the activities in your mind. Consider using a calendar, whiteboard or scheduling app to refine your organization. Second, analyze how much time you devote to each task. This will help you identify areas where you devote too much or too little attention. Third, block in time for breaks and plan for any obstacles you might encounter. Not convinced? That's because we often set out to achieve something without a plan of action. Enter the SMART framework. This five-point checklist ensures that both you and your goals are set up for success. SMART stands for Specific, Measurable, Attainable, Relevant and Time-Bound. Consider one of your current goals and see whether it fits the following criteria. Is it clearly defined? Can you accurately measure it? Is this a reasonable expectation? Is it relevant to your overall goals? Can you complete it within the timescale given? If you answered yes to all of these questions, your goal is SMART. With these measures in place, you should be able to optimize your daily routine and make better use of your day. Still feeling fatigued? Burning the candle at both ends can lead to exhaustion, so it's essential to prioritize rest. Make time for more activities you enjoy and say no to those that you don't. Delegation is key. Choose one or two people you can trust to help with tasks and draw boundaries around what you're willing to take on to avoid burnout. The idea is to maximize your potential by putting time into what you value most. Don't let life pass you by. Take charge and shape a schedule that reflects your goals. In other words, make every moment count. Now that your diary is set, let's look at practical ways to declutter your mind. Use visualization and progressive muscle relaxation to quickly calm your mind and body. If you need to de-stress fast, you may require more than a pen and paper. Besides, it's best not to rely on a single method of relaxation. A mixture of techniques that engage different senses is often more effective. For example, combining visualization with progressive muscle relaxation, or PMR, is a surefire way to calm your mind and body quickly. So, the next time you feel overwhelmed, try this stress-relieving hack. Close your eyes and take deep breaths while focusing on a positive mental image. This could be anything from a relaxing beach setting to your favorite forest hike. It all depends on what relaxes you the most. Now add sound, touch, taste and smell to the mix. Try picturing an image that brings you peace and harmony. Spend 5 to 10 minutes focusing on and immersing yourself in it. When you finish your mental escape, imagine folding it up and storing it in your pocket so that you can access it later. When you're done, gently open your eyes and stretch your body. Take some slow, deep breaths. With practice and dedication, you can now relax your body and mind whenever you need to unwind. Integrating PMR into your routine can help you improve your physical awareness sleep better, and alleviate neck and back pain. 
Sound good? Okay then. Sit or lie comfortably and close your eyes once more. Starting with your fingers and toes and working inward, tense each body muscle while you count to 10. Then, release the tension before moving on to the next body part. To end, take some deep breaths and stretch. Notice how you feel? PMR is excellent at guiding your conscious mind out of a mental maze and into a deep relaxation. Cognitive Behavioral Therapy Stops Automated Thinking Sometimes our minds, like dusty attics, get cluttered with all sorts of unwanted junk. But it doesn't have to be this way. Suppose you're stuck in a rut or struggling with negative mental energy. In that case, it's time to try Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, or CBT, a method that raises self-awareness while also exposing limiting beliefs. It can help you manage low self-esteem, persistent self-judgment, and self-doubt. So why not treat yourself to a mental makeover? Put on your hard hat, we've got work to do. CBT helps us recognize so-called cognitive distortions. Unfortunately, these negative thought patterns lead to unhelpful behavior, making it even more difficult to work through tough situations. They manifest as false beliefs absolutist attitudes and an inclination to overgeneralize and exaggerate. We've all fallen into these cognitive traps at some point in our lives, but the good news is that there are techniques to help us manage them effectively and reduce their impact. Ready to master your mind? Start by keeping a dysfunctional thought record for a few weeks. Then, when a severe negative emotion strikes, ask yourself, have I considered all the factors before forming an opinion? Am I making an assumption? Is my response something I'm choosing consciously, or is it a knee-jerk reaction based on habit? Finally, jot down at least three possible alternatives for your disrupted thoughts. CBT can be a powerful tool for managing and restructuring intrusive emotions. You can create healthier rumination pathways that prevent autopilot thinking by carefully considering why certain feelings take hold and how they affect your mindset. The 54321 grounding technique reduces anxiety and stress. Have you ever felt it? That tightness in your chest, a million replays running through your mind? This feeling, anxiety, is surprisingly common. Many people from all walks of life will likely experience it at some point. It can be unsettling and uncomfortable, and it often comes on without a moment's notice. Why are so many of us in pain? The truth is that most people never learn how to deal with it. As we discussed in the previous section, CBT can help you understand what's causing your anxiety so that you can work to eliminate those factors from your life. However, there are times when you need a quick fix to deal with emotional overload. If so, the 54321 grounding technique could be another valuable tool. This strategy strives to provide a playful distraction to reduce stress and anxiety and help manage intense emotions. Here's how it works. Start by identifying five things around you. For instance, a lamp, painting, window frame, rug, and vase. Next, identify four physical sensations, like your feet on the ground, your breath in your chest, a blanket against your skin, and the sun on your face. Now listen. What three sounds can you hear? Maybe it's birds chirping, wind blowing, and someone talking. Note two smells. This could be a neighbor's garden flowers and freshly brewed coffee. Finally, taste. One cookie or a cup of tea might do. Or maybe it's the taste of freshly brushed teeth. After identifying each of these things, note how the sensations work together to reduce anxiety and promote relaxation. When you overthink, ruminate and stress, it's easy to fall out of the moment. Your mind becomes muddled with what-if thoughts, and you're no longer present. 
Using the 54321 technique stimulates your senses while calming your breathing and thoughts. You've just listened to our blink to Stop Overthinking by Nick Trenton. Here are some final thoughts for you. Pondering abstract ideas can be helpful, but overthinking can cause unnecessary stress. If this sounds familiar, it's time to accept your emotions without judgment and figure out what's causing or amplifying your anxiety. Remember that you can't avoid all of life's uncertainties, but you can manage them better by shifting your attitude and perspective. So think about who, where and what is causing your negative thoughts and behaviours. Then apply the techniques and exercises we've outlined to improve your thought patterns and stop overthinking. Okay, that's it for this Blink. Thanks so much for listening, and if you can, please leave us a rating. We always like to hear what you think about our content. See you in the next Blink. Got feedback? We'd love to hear from you about our content. Just share your thoughts and book recommendations in the comments section and be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about the latest extracts. Thank you and have a great day.